Bridges throughout the United States have been in place for a long, long time. So with us having so many rivers here in the greater Charleston area, the state started to look at uh, the integrity of some of the bridges. One of the early ones that they looked at was the Nitro St. Albans or the Dick Henderson Bridge. This was a fairly old bridge and it was fairly narrow but it was also in a very highly populated area. You know, there were people that lived on one side of the river and worked on the other or vice versa. And um, so that when the state looked to, uh, to do this project, they wanted to, to do a couple things. They wanted to, of course, upgrade the bridge, you know, and get another 40, 50 years of useful life out of this thing. But then when they went to look to do the lighting along with it, they had some street lighting um, on one side of the bridge with the city of St. Albans. So they really liked the look of that. So they wanted to utilize something like that. And also they were starting to take this jump into LED. So we were able to accomplish both of those things for them. Everybody knows that, that LED saves energy, but the biggest driver and the reason why I see customers adopt it the fastest, a lot of times is that maintenance aspect. Customers are saying, I'm gonna make an investment, you know, in my highway, in my building or whatever else. And I'm gonna take advantage of, of that investment with long-term maintenance cost savings decreased power bills, and also I know for a fact that my lighting levels are going to stay very consistent over time. We used our Granville LED fixture, which is something that we've been doing for a long time, and it was actually the first fixture that Hall of Fame put LED into. So they approached us and we worked with a consulting engineer that was helping to design the bridge for these guys, and you know we recommended and helped design the, uh, the bridge with the Granville LED fixture. They wanted to make sure that the bridge was very functional, that the bridge uh, was was safe, that it was well lit and everything else. But along the way, you know, when you, when you have this opportunity to do a complete renovation with a brand new bridge, why not make it look good? So what they tried to do there was do an open air style bridge, take advantage of, um, you know, the, the river that they had there, which, you know, has a ton of traffic, whether it's leisure travel with folks in the boats or the barges that go up and down the river transporting coal or all the other things that West Virginia is well known for. So when they went to do the bridge, they wanted to make sure that they did all these things. They tried to make it very aesthetically pleasing. But when they did this renovation, they wanted to promote you know, pedestrian traffic along with this. It was a very exciting project for both cities. Everybody really wanted this thing done. It's really been something that I think both communities have embraced, and it's something that really was a very large upgrade in, on all aspects for, for both of those cities.